six in our top story, smoke coming from a manhole and Springs firefighters finding what appears to be a homeless warming fire deep in the Colorado Springs stormwater system. Firefighters tell us this was a very dangerous situation for whoever lit that fire and for emergency responders. Bill Folsom is live at the scene right now near I-25 and Bijou. Bill. Yeah, firefighters were called out this morning to a report of smoke in this area of I-25. What they found is over here. They found this manhole. The cover was off. Smoke was coming out from underneath the ground. They had to go down, put out a fire, but this also escalated into a heavy rescue and hazmat situation. A major incident from a small fire. Firefighters arrived finding smoke coming from a manhole. Put out one what appears to be a homeless campfire. Dangerous because it is underground in a confined space. Hazmat and heavy rescue teams are called in to assist. Air testing shows life-threatening conditions underground. We have air meters and we, are, we recognize what's down there. Today it was 90 parts per million of CO when we first made entry, which is not sustainable for human life. It means a search is necessary to make sure no one is trapped and in danger. A rope and pulley system attaches to firefighters who are lowered down the manhole with oxygen for support. They have 1,200 feet of underground drainage to search. The issue is that safety allows them to go only about 300 feet at a time. So they spend hours going in from multiple entry points. No one is found, but they see more danger than just carbon monoxide. A lot of debris, propane tanks. We have curtains hanging across the arterial veins that go uh, east and west. And we also located shopping carts, uh, hypodermic needles. We require our staff to be what we call confined space entry trained. Engineers with city stormwater also respond. There are 400 miles of underground drainage in the city. Homeless, kids, pets, they say no one should enter. It's more than flood danger. There can also be trapped noxious fumes. More than a warning, they'll now be seeing if there's a way to better discourage entry into this specific drainage. Finding the appropriate measure to deter access while still allowing the stormwater to freely flow through the system is the engineering challenge for us. So there's the fire that was underneath here, and then there was that three hour search where they went several hundred yards that way. During that search, right down where this empties into Fountain Creek, they found another fire that was not fully out. They put that one out as well. Watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Bill Folsom, News 5.